Hey guys, this is Philip with the VX Sales team. This afternoon, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and demo vSAN using storage policy based management. So, a couple of things I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to create a new VM. I'm going to run a quick BD bench test, IO test, and then I'm going to apply a new storage policy that we create to throttle that VM. All right, so here we are logged into vCenter on the storage policies tab. So, I'm just going to show you the default storage policy. So if you go in here, we'll take a look and see it's default standard policy FTT1, one uh, disk drive per object, pretty standard stuff. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to close that and we're going to clone the vSAN default storage policy, essentially creating a new policy and we're going to give it a name. We're going to name it IOPS limit. And now I'm going to go into that policy and we're going to edit the default storage policy. We're going to take the policy and we're going to add a new rule set. So we're going to add a new rule which is IOPS limit per object and we're going to set a thousand IOP limit per object. So now I'm going to go to a test VM. So we're going to go over to take a look at our VMs under our cluster VxRat cluster VMs. I have a test VM running VD Bench. So we're going to open that up and we will kick off a quick VD bench script. So let me just console into this VM right quick. So here we are logged into the VM and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the test. So I'm just going to kick off the script. And the script uh, is going to start an IO test and here you'll see the IO rate is going to be 160, 170,000 IOPS. And now we're going to go back into vCenter. We're going to right click the VM, go to VM policies, edit VM storage policy, and we're going to change it from the default vSAN storage policy to the new policy that we created, the IO limit. So we're going to select IO limits. We're going to click apply all. So this VM has 10 hard disks. And each one of those is going to have a thousand IOP limit. So overall, this VM is going to be limited to 10,000 IOPS. So click OK, go back into our VM. You see we're throttled down from 170 down to 10,000 IOPS. Very easy to apply vSAN storage policies and it happens immediately.